This is a brand new Fish Roach video. Hello, everybody. Look at this. My name is Simone Barazzi. Zazzi. And I am the owner of Amsterdam's Brain Blood Hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are going to show you how to beat a snake to death. It's a snake to death. If someone's snaking these egg glitches like this and. Mm, mm, mm. And being an absolute douchebag. Here we go, ready, let's go. Right, you see this crate here, right? Crouch. Right here. And now, the snake is dead. Have fun snaking. Oh, never mind. Hey, you're sitting in this car instead? You're not snaking? You're sitting in a corner? Go to this table. Bang. This entire wall is wall bangable, so I don't really need to do a lineup. I just need to look at the mini map and be like, bang! You know? You can even, you can even, quick tip, you can even mark it on the map. Hold on, we gotta Moving zoom in. Here. Gotta zoom in, hold on. The corner's right here. here, bang. It's on the compass. Bang. Look at that. Easy. Free for all. Targets are up. Kill them all. So I'm pretty sure this only works if the door is closed, but if you go in this car and you jump on here. You can actually jump on top of this door. You crouch, you can open the doors. You can even jump on like that part over there. But you can just jump down and bang. You know, you can jump on this part too, but this is a little nice. You jump here, jump here, bang. If only you could actually switch to your gun fast. So here we go, you just jump on this table. You can jump on this. Watch the cross here. If anyone goes flanks like this, you'll see them. Unless they like go close to the wall, but you'll see them still cross on this archway, like right. Another little uh, off angle is you can jump up here. You can actually jump on uh, this gate to hang here, here, and you can have an off angle here for the window, because this fight usually happens where we go window to window, right? You can jump on here, bang, right? And then, um, if you hear someone stomping below and there's no one here, you just go. And then you just wall bang through the floor and then you look like an absolute hacker, you know? Just <laughs> imagine. Moving here. So a lot of people like to sit here because you can see the cross. Right? So no one like flanks your teammates that are in PD or whatever. Right? Maybe you planted the bomb and they're going to search for you. Try and get all the people dead so they can defuse the bomb. Right? You can sit here. And obviously, if you plant a bomb, you can like sit here too and check the bomb like this. So this is a very popular spot on this side of the map, at least, because there's not really any other spots that are really useful. But watch this. There's two spots you can go to, right? You can go to the right side of this door, turn around, and then the left side of this door. The wall bank here. But now, because there's a van right there, they might actually like tuck themselves really in the corners. So. I feel like this one's better, but there's this one. You get this red cabinet. And then you shoot this wall part. You can wall bang this wall. Through to Instead of like this. This is not wall bangable, so you have to like shoot here. And if someone's there, you'll probably like kill them or make them wake or whatever. Not many people have a goal when it comes to fortress control offense. Because they don't know like what to do. It's just kind of like get on a point, hope you hope you kill the people while they're trying to attack you off of it. There's not really much of a goal. So in Fortress Control, there's not much of a goal that people seem to have. Which is why a lot of people end up like losing. Like I get this map is a very very hard map and a, a lot of the uh, higher skills. But if you're on a, like a lower skill, like Crimson Below or whatever, you can actually like farm this map as you can see i'm blocking these spawns by being here right they'll spawn rocks if you have a guy up there they will no longer spawn there this is called rocks the top left spawn and they'll only spawn there right so they're the play so like these guys are spawning here right see that i didn't really block this side but if you have another guy blocking here it's good too but they'll spawn gate one if you have this blocked and then this blocked then they have to spawn here, right? Which means they have to like chow you 
Like you can have the most disgusting headache, right? You just do this, like for example. Be really annoying. Like do this. This is disgusting too, right? So like they'll spawn gate one, and they have to go f in R, and we all know how hard like this head glitch is, right? So if this guy's blocking this spawn, and he's framing this, they have to run through here and face this gunfight, right? Gate one, bang. Or, they have to go around here, and kill you, here. So like, I'm gonna block the sponge right now. He's probably gonna go rocks, but... Yeah, they, they are going rocks. But as you can see, it wouldn't be rocks if someone's blocking it, so it's like, they'll spawn there every single time. Unless I don't look left, of course. But like, if I'm blocking it, they're going to be there the entire time. Probably gonna spawn uh, under my... Because I'm not like left enough. Like if I go here, and I just force them to f go to over here, I don't think they spawn rocks. I'm, like here. Also, like if you set this truck, you can cut cut them off bottom art too. So then they have to like chow you on this head glitch. This is a good head glitch to go into. But if you have guys spawning, yeah, if, if you have guys some blocking that, then like you you can go here. And you just like tickle them going into there, and then they're just a free kill. Again. By the way, throwing nades actually blocks spawns. So if you throw a grenade in there, you spawn there. What's this about doing, man? See, he spawned there. Look. Throw this snapshot grenade just to block the spawns. Bang. See that nade? That, uh, I just used that nade to block the spawns there. They're spawning in G1. Look at that. Three pickings. Ain't nobody gonna hit shots on me and I know. And that is how you win an offense from Fortress Control. If you just execute those plan this plan and you know the spawns and you know how to trap them and will down their lives, you just win offense every single time. Unless you're in like iridescent and stuff, which is a little bit more difficult. Because people probably know that this exists and know how to play the game. So yeah.